Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain about access control list in Linux. First let's understand about the access control list. Okay, this access control list is a tool which we can use to apply fine grained permissions onto the files or directories in the Linux without disturbing the base owners. So we have uh, the base owners as user group. So these, uh, apart from that, we have the other, and these are called as the base owners uh, for a file or a directory. Without disturbing that, we can add uh, fine-grained file permissions on top of this, and that's where these access control list comes into picture. Let's try to understand uh, furthermore. Uh, ACL consists of a set of ACL entries. Okay, so access control list by the term itself says it is a list of entries. So each and ent every entry has a type, a qualifier for the user or a group to which the entry refers and a set of permissions for the qualifier. For example, the qualifier could be user or group for that we use you and then we give the uh, for the for the uh, first one is the type uh, it's a, a user uh, named user so you we give you and then the qualifier is the name that we give it is uh, the dude here and the permission that i've mentioned in the example is read so uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, entry that we would refer to as an acl entry okay let's uh, uh, understand a little more uh, in this slide so previously we have uh, owner uh, and the owning group and the other so these were the three permission classes that we had in for a file in the traditional way so if you want to extend this uh, permissions to uh, some more we can use this acls by providing additional entry types like named user and named group and we have another entry called mask which will have the uh, which will have the permissions in sync with the base owner and the named uh, owners. Okay, let's uh, try to understand a little more about the ACL commands that we have. Uh, to set an ACL for a file or a directory, the command that we have to use is set F ACL and we may have to give the option and give the file owner, it could be an U or you can give uh, u colon uh, user or you can give the g colon the group name and you can give the permission over there whatever permission you like to give read write or execute whatever permissions that you'd like to give and finally the file name or it could also be a directory so the options uh, you can have uh, either uh, uh, to modify the file option uh, modify the file permissions or if you want to remove the uh, access list, you can do so by using the option minus X. And you can also apply default permissions by giving minus D there. Okay, uh, to get uh, the ACL that is applied onto a file, we have the command called get F ACL. And we can give the file name for that, uh, which will give the uh, uh, if ACLs added on top of the file. Let's take a sample scenario here. I have created, uh, I'm going to create a file by name file1 and this is a scenario I'll be showing that in a moment and this uh, file1 will have the user as Alex and the group as Alex and it's a zero byte file. So the name of the file is file1 and by default it has the read write permission for the user and read write permission for the owner or the group or uh, and uh, read only permission for all others and i have a uh, group that i have created with few users the name of the group is project one and the users are ragu sveta and alex so these people are part of this uh, uh, group now what i am trying to do is i want to say uh, uh, i want to give uh, extra permissions for many of the for few more users and hence i put all these users in a group and i want to change the group uh, owner for this uh, file one to this uh, uh, new group which is project one so i've used the ch group uh, chgrp command and then i've changed uh, the group of this file one to project one and so now you have the uh, group uh, 
uh, uh, project one instead of Alex and so it has got the rewrite permission and, and like that and now there's a requirement to give permission temporarily to another user by name Josh who is not part of this project one group but you want to give this permission for Joe's as a temporary measure and you might want to remove it after some time so that's where the ACL comes into picture and the command that we have to use here is set if ACL minus M is the option that you have to use for modification and you have to give the user uh, u colon josh and give the permission rwx and then give the file name which is file one and that will um, show the uh, actual permission like this so previously when you see get facl file one it was just showing the three entry type which was user group and other which were like this and now uh, after adding this you will have this permission extended like user colon Joe's which I have highlighted in red so and then mask will also be there as rwx and if you say ls minus l file one you will see a plus symbol which gets added to the 10 character pattern at the end and that will refer that there is a acl applied on top of this file let's now see how this thing is working in the actual linux vm uh, first step is I'm going to create a file by name uh, file one using the touch command. I've successfully created it. I've logged in as uh, Alex user. So if you say ls minus l, you will see this file is having the owner as Alex and group as Alex. Okay, so uh, um, now I'm going to have uh, the uh, create a new group uh, with few users and I would like to add the group for a uh, new group for this file by and this uh, let's see this group now by giving sado sudo cat that etc slash group and then let's see grep project one is the name of the group that I've created and it has got some users Ragu, Sweta, and Alex uh, are all of these are all the groups the users for this group project one. And now I'm going to change the uh, files group to project one. So the way to do that is chgrp and then give project one and then say file one. And that changes the group uh, for this file from Alex to project one. So now, which means, this means actually the users Ragu, Sweta and Alex are having read and write permissions for this file, file one. Okay, now there's a requirement. There's a, another user who is not part of this group, which is project one, who needs to be given a full access permission for this file. So how do we do that? So that's where the ACL comes into picture. So the way to do that is you have to apply the ACL giving by giving this command set F ACL minus M minus U colon Sorry, u colon josh is the name of the user that i want to give full permission and which is rwx and the file name is file one so i've just added this uh, permission now you see here this file is having uh, a new character which is added which is the plus and that's what that actually means that this file is having an acl applied on top of it and if you see uh, the output of get facl file one you can see the details that the named user is josh who is having the read write and executable per executable permission let's try to log in as josh and then try to add some content there by editing this file This file is updated by Josh. I'm going to save this, exit this. So I successfully edited this and this file is now having uh, 29 bytes of information. So now I'm done with the uh, chain, uh, uh, giving permission for Josh. I want to remove back the permission. So how do I do that? Again, I can give set FACL minus X and then you can give u colon josh that's the entry that you want to remove and then give the file name file one 
So that is remove uh, the access that you have given for Josh. If, now if you if Josh comes and then logs in and then tries to make some entry, make some uh, edit into this file and he will not be allowed. Let's see that. And when I say nano, he is, I mean, system says that file one is unwritable for him. So uh, the access right is being removed for Josh now. So uh, you can also see uh, get a PCL file one. Uh, there is no name user over here. And in case if you want to remove the complete ACL from this file, then you can use set a PCL and then minus B and then give the file name. This will sorry minus B and give the file name. This will remove the ACL completely for you. And if you say there's no there's no named user, there's no uh, name group there's no mask nothing so it has gone back to its original state and if you say ls minus l there's no plus symbol that was there in the when we had applied the acl on top of this file so uh that's all guys i have for this video thanks for watching in case if you like this video give it a like and share and subscribe thank you